How's it going everyone? Uh, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to be taking on Shemi Bear and his Chicago Bear Ticks for the second game of the BBR Summer Scramble. Now I actually don't know if I'm having this battle before or after uh, the first one that's going to go up on the channel because of the timing. They're, I'm playing them both very close together and then the third game is going to be like over the weekend. I'm, I'm, I'm recording this Monday night. So hopefully everything gets st sorted out with the battles, but uh, we're going to call this one game two. I actually, this is the one I didn't get any mocks for, at least yet. Now I might be able to squeeze one in tomorrow or, um, you know, or maybe late tonight. I'm not sure. Um, but in any case, we have the team in the game. I'm probably not going to make any changes. It is what it is. Mocks can only do so much as it is. Um, and I'm just going to hope that, you know, I get a little bit of just experience with the team. Uh, before our actual battle but as far as the team um, as you can see you know the, the, the matchups in the in the bottom left and right hand corner where the Miami Marowax going up against the Chicago Bear Tick. He's got a little bit of a hail team he's also got the mascot with the Bear Tick um, and his terror captain is going to be the Mew. Now I'm not sure if Tornadus or Annihilate were uh, Terra banned uh, I'm actually glad it's not Terra Annihilate because that would probably be pretty annoying. But we have a little bit of a counter for that and, um, you know, uh, we got some fun stuff. So let's go right into it. I don't want to waste too much time here. Uh, let's check the boxes and there's Jorge's team, there's Shemi Bear's team. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's go right into it. Um, let's do a little check summary here and this should be a better look. Uh, at it. So we have the first Pokemon being the Screamtail. Uh, we have 248 HP, 84 defense, and 176 speed with Jolly Nature. This is pretty much my Annihilate answer, if I'm being honest. Um, it, you know, and it looks passive because I don't have any attacking moves, but Parashon can kill anything as long as I'm not taunted. Um, and it, it, it's nice for like a Mew that wants to try to set up on me. Um, if it does try to set up, it'll probably also reveal its Terra. Now it is Terra Preview. Uh, but once it, once you tear it, you can't go back. So if he changes into like a steel type or a water type, we'll know that, and that's really good, um, and all that. So it's just a wish supporter. Uh, it's a bulky wishes, 115 base HP, with the max investment, and then Thunder Wave is just nice to slow things down. He doesn't really have a, well, he doesn't have a grass or an electric. Sorry, he doesn't have a ground or an electric type. Um, I mean, Mew could tear into either of those, but that's not really a concern for me. Um, so just being able to throw Thunder Waves around is really nice, especially because he has the two Hail Sweepers in um, Ninetales and Bear Tick. Now, does he bring both of them? I don't think so, um, just because he's probably going to bring his first five and then, um, you know, either Bear Tick or Sand Slash, um, and then Muck. I mean, Muck could make an appearance just because Okie Dogie is a Pokemon, but, um, you know, it, 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 is, it does have a decent matchup against me. Um, so he may bring it and just say screw it with the hail, because I don't see him not bringing. I see him bringing the t the top four for sure, just because they're good Pokemon in, in any matchup. But um, yeah, as far as you know, does he bring the hail sweepers or not? We'll have to see. Um, but anyway, this this thing's just kind of a bulky little pivot to slow some things down and um, and stop things from sweeping me, uh, particularly the annihilate and the mew. Maybe even like a nasty plot tornadoes. I think it gets nasty plot. So uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, next up is our Greninja. Shit, you saw the Pikachu. Damn it! I was gonna save the Pikachu for last. That would have been so cool. Oh well. Oh, by the way, the speed at 332. Um, you might be thinking if you if you're speed creeping a Mew, it's only 330. Well, I'm going a step further, and I'm gonna speed creep the Tornadus and the Nine Tails and either of the slow the slush rushers in case you know if, if they're thinking okay screamtail like let's say tornadoes wants to go modest nature for example it can't do that unless it's speed creeping a screamtail speed creeping something um that kind of sounds weird but let's say for example he's thinking in his mind screamtail is gonna speed creep the mew base 100 so he'll go 330 speed i'm gonna go 331 to outspeed that my Screamtail is 332, so in the off chance that that ends up mattering, that's why we have that the extra two points there. Um, so yeah. Anyway, we got the Battle Bond Greninja. Um, I don't even know 
What am I doing here? Yeah. Um. Anyway, the the nickname's a little messed up just because I had to use a different bot to, to transfer these in. Because the the one I, I usually use just it, it just wasn't working for some reason. It was maybe it was the battle bond situation. I don't know. But we are allowed to use battle bond, and we're going with it here because it's I think it's a pretty good matchup. Um. Honestly, choice specs. Uh, he does not have the best resistances to surf. Uh, Dark Pulse is there just in case he brings a water resistance from Mew. Um, like, a, like a Terra Water, for example, I have the Dark Pulse. Or if I need some late game flinches, if I'm, if I'm feeling lucky, I can do that. And then u turn just U-turn. Hydro Pump is going to be there for a little bit extra damage. But the hope is just to chip things down and put my opponent in an uncomfortable situation. I, of course, am just max speed, max special... T well... I'm 248 speed, 252 special attack, 8 HP. So I can outspeed a Tornadus, uh, Therian. So I'll outspeed this whole team, um, barring any Scarfers or Slush Rush or, you know, Agility Mew, anything like that. So, um, you know, just getting some big damage off with the Surf would be really cool. And then if we really need it, the Hydro Pump. If we snag a kill and then we're up to plus one with the Choice Specs, that's going to be pretty cool. So... Um, I don't know if that's a one-time thing. I guess it is a one-time thing. Like, if you switch, you lose the boost, obviously. I guess if you come back in the, if, and you get another kill, um, maybe it'll... Yeah, once per battle. So that's a shame. But, you know, just nice to get a little bit of damage off on... Well, hopefully more than a little bit of damage off. Um, next up is our Okie Dogie. Okie Dogie, look at this guy. With the Salic Berry. Um, did I say that the... Screamtail's Rocky Helmet, just in case he brings like a Choice Scarf or Nile Leap and he's U-turning around. I, I get a little bit of chip with the Rocky Helmet, so that's nice. And also for like, you know, Samurai and stuff like that, I guess. And like U-turns from U Tornadoes, just to punish things that want to go for physical attacks. Anyway, um, 88 HP, 252 attack, 4 defense, and 164 speed with the Salic Berry. Toxic Chain, uh, and not Guard Dog because there's no Intimidators here, obviously. Bulk up, poison jab, drain punch, and door. Um, yeah, it's just a fun little set here. Endure, salad berry, obviously with the speed boost. Uh, we're gonna be able to outspeed Tornadus, I think. No, wait. Hold on, let me do the math again. I'm just looking over this team because uh, I just uh, 350. What is 355 for? Oh, nine tails, I bet. I bet it's for nine tails. I think I just didn't want to. I wanted to keep my adamant nature, and uh, you know, if if I get the endure off, if I know he's not max speed, because again, it goes from Greninja down to Screamtail. But are you really going to speed creep a max speed Screamtail? Probably not. Um, but anyway, if he ends up going, you know, less speed, but he does go max speed, you know, nine tails for whatever reason, we should be able to outspeed that. So that's cool. Um, and then just dual stab hits. I'll, I mean everything on his team really well, but uh, the Muck obviously will resist that. But Muck can't do much back. I, I don't think it gets Earthquake, and I'm just going to be able to bulk up on that thing. So that's not a problem for me. I can Drain Punch for some recovery. His team doesn't have that much priority. I know Mew probably gets a few priority moves. Um, and the Endure is nice to get the Salic Berry, but I can get back health with the Drain Punch. Um, and, you know, besides... I mean, I, I guess if you want to count Muck's Shadow Sneak, but I don't count that because I'm probably not going to be low enough to where that's killing if I'm setting up bulk ups, and I can just Drain Punch Recovery, even if it's resisted, I'm getting a lot of health back there, so um, hopefully this thing can put in some work, I'm just, you know, having fun with a little, cool little okie doogie set. Uh, next up, I got Owen, the, uh, the Salamis, Terra Steel yet again, uh, and we're Chopple Berry this time, uh, just to ensure that we can take a hit from Annihilate, uh, and, you know, I guess, Samurai if we run Sacred Sword. I believe Sand Slash can run some sort of fighting move. I know Bear Tick gets Superpower. Um, obviously, both of those, I think they both learn Earthquake, so that's a thing. Tornadoes can learn Focus Blast, so Chopper Berry is just kind of like a catch all so that I can, you know, live a lot of hits. Um, at least one. Uh, we are just max speed timid because I want to be able to speed tie with that Mew if it ends up doing that. Um, and, you know, like I said, I mean, Terra Steel is just nice for uh, resistances against the Tornadoes, against the Ninetales, against the Sand Slash. It puts them in a situation where if I'm not Terrid yet, um, against Bear Tick or Sand Slash, um, they have to predict, like, am I going to Terra? Do they click Earthquake or do they click the Ice-type move? It puts them in a little bit of a, 
a bind there. Um, puts me in a bind too, but that is what it is. And I am Moxie, uh, just to be able to, you know, get the boost and hopefully just snowball with that. I figured I, I wouldn't want to be intimidated if he's got Defiant, uh, Defiant Annihilate. So, you know, just to make sure we don't get hit by that. Um, and, you know, Iron Head is very good against this team, obviously. Terra Steel, going to be Stab. Uh, he does not really have the best resistances to that. I mean, it's it's literally just going to be Samurott. And, and Samurott and Sand Slash both get hit really hard by Brick Break. Dolan Beat is obviously just there to hit the Annihilate a little harder. Um, and that is that. So, another just sweeping set with the Salamis. Next up, we got the Carmine, our Napoleon. Look at him. Nice little penguin guy. We got 248 HP, 132 defense, 112 special defense, and 16 speed. Obviously a little bit of speed just to make sure things aren't creeping me. Uh, mainly the muck and uh, and the sand slash. Just maybe if he's not running a hill team for whatever reason. I mean, it's, it's an easy just little sprinkle that in there just in case. We do have the Stealth Rocks Yawn, Flip Turn and Knock Off. Uh, competitive just because if something ends up lowering my stats for whatever reason, um, you know, we can we can get a little bit of a boost. There's no real reason to run Torrent in my opinion. Um, Stealth Rocks are nice because his hazard removal is the Rapid Spin Sand Slash. I, I believe that's it. I don't think Mew gets any removal. Um, Yawn is nice because it just kind of, well, this is a good switch into Tornadus. And it's also a, a pretty deep, with that physical defense investment, it's a pretty decent switch into Baratic and Sand Slash. And even Mew. I mean, it's de Mew's definitely going to run something. Maybe a fighting type move, maybe a ground, maybe an earthquake. Um, those are really its only, I mean, I guess an, an electric type move, but that's, it's probably going to be either earthquake or like drain punch or whatever it may be. Um, and that's fine, but I can yawn it. And then yawn combined with flip turn kind of forces some initiative, uh, some momentum for me. Because I'm not going to want to stay in with the yawn, because I don't want to, Whatever's in is probably not going to want to go to sleep. Uh, so I kind of force their switch, flip turn out. Um, and I do have the wish support with the whisper, so that's good. And then knock off is just nice for knocking off items. It's basically just a little pivot here to try to get in things um, like the Greninja, like the Ogie Dogi, like the Salamence, and even the Pikachu, the show stopper. I, you know, I don't really dig the, the heart on the tail. I should have put that I didn't want it, I just wanted to be a male. I just like the, the design of the tail. It doesn't matter, whatever. We got the showstopper, she's looking fantastic. She got the light ball, obviously to double attack and special attack. With the static ability, because he's got no electric type uh, t um, Pokemon. He has no electric, and there's really nothing there that's going to click an electric type move unless it's, ter unless it's Volt Switch Mew, but you know what, whatever, you, you got me. All right, um, with that, we have the Fake Out, Discharge, Volt Switch, and Trailblaze. Um, this is just to, you know, be annoying. I, I, I didn't really like Ursaluna, obviously, against Hale. Um, and what, what's my last Pokemon? Serena? Yeah, another Pokemon that just doesn't do very well here. It's nice for Samurai, but besides that, we're just not looking too good against this team. Um, so, you know, th I, if I'm going to bring Pikachu, it's going to be this matchup, because there's just nothing else to really bring and um you know i can go for trailblaze on a potential switch i am uh let's see what am i doing here i have 216 speed 220 special attack and 72 defense um that's interesting i don't know exactly oh i think that's for like a suck yeah that's for a sucker punch samurai um if i'm at full health i don't die to it if he's like i think it was like adamant with no item or maybe it was jolly with a life orb something like that again i'm not 100 sure but it is what it is um the speed, let me think, let me think, I think it's for an Annihilate speed creeping and Okie Dogie, or maybe, no, I think it's just outspeeding a Samurai, okay, you know what, I'm going to look it up, because I might as well, I'm, I'm already here, right, uh, let's see, max speed Samurai, 295, 297, sweet, Okay, we outspeed a Samurai. This is this is what it is. Okay, I know why this Pokemon is here. It's so that I can stop hazards from going up because my only removal is Serena, and I'm obviously not bringing Serena. So if I can fake out, fake out breaks the sash on the Samurai. If he wants to sucker punch me, I should be able to live that. 
and then I Volt Switch. He's got no ground types, so Volt Switch is, is free as a, free as heck. You know, Trailblaze is nice to boost my speed in case something's about to die. I don't kill Samurai with Trailblaze. I kill it with Volt Switch after a fake out though, um, or I should. If it does a little, bit, if fake out does a little bit less than I'm expecting, then I might, I might just go for discharge to ensure the KO. Um, but I could, I probably will just go for discharge because you know it's it's free against this team. Again, it's, unless he, you know, Terra grounds on the Mew, I just discharge and I can get a pair on things. So that's nice. It's it's a fun little Pokemon. I'm trying to have fun, man. So um, that's the that's the hope here. Uh, anyway. I've rambled on about this team long enough. Let us, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here, and I will see you in the battle. All right, here we are in the battle, going up against Shem. Uh, he brings the six that I expect, so no bear tick, no uh, sand slash as well. Uh, like I said, I wasn't expect, or I wasn't, I, I'm not surprised that he didn't bring hail here. Um, so, we're just going to lead Pikachu, which is the uh, assumed lead for us because... Syrian Samurai is annoying, and I told him Terra Steel, which it is, I think, yeah, because I'm Chopple, and then uh, hopefully he gives me the Terra on his Mew, so that's going to be it, man, we're going to get into this, I just had the battle with Jorge like 10 minutes ago, and I got my, I got my, uh, the calc loaded up, ready to go, I had to put on a different shirt, because it's, it's getting hot in here, to be honest with you. My ears are all red. I don't know if you can... No, they actually don't... They don't look red, but they, they feel red. So, you know, we're gonna... We're gonna rock out with that. I'm trying to keep... I'm trying to stay in the middle of the screen here. All right. All right. So... Ooh, look at what we're... His toes are in the ground. All right, look, Ma... Is the same route we call that? So I'm gonna fake out immediately if he switches. That kind of lets us know that he's probably Focus Ash. Um, we're gonna fake out. If he's Choice Scarf, he's Choice Scarf. There's nothing I can do about that. We're gonna hope that he's Focus Ash. It does about how much I was expecting. Now the Volt Switch should knock him out, but again, like I said, I think in the team builder, discharge is free, man, against this team. So we're gonna discharge. My outfit doesn't even look... Yes, he switches. Okay, that means he's probably not Choice Scarfed. He's going to switch probably into Muck, Honey Bee. That's the Annihilate. Okay. Could we get a Para here for some reason? Yes, we get the Para too. That's huge. I know I shouldn't be celebrating hacks, but I am anyway. Okay, um, he doesn't look to be fully spit F there. Now, actually, when I, I didn't say this... With the leftovers, he's sitting about a third. He's sitting at about a third. So I'd say that's just max HP. He could rage fist here. He's got one rage fist boost. Rage fist is literally. It, I just don't take it. <laughs> this, this team is not uh, is not prepared for a <laughs> for a rage fisting annihilate. All right. Um. He may be No, he's he's leftovers. What am I talking about? I might. Hmm. Let's see here. All right, Mister. What do, what do, what do I call you? I call you Screamtail. Like I said, like I said, um, or I was trying to say, I did some research about this game. My opponent likes to make moves. He likes to predict switches and all that. Something that I like to do as well. I think we're gonna go straight into Whisper here because I was running out of time. Um. A rage, rage Fist looks like it will be too at KOing me easily, but it could get parried. He does get parried. Um, I'm sorry. I kind of feel bad. He's getting leftovers. I mean, honestly, okay, look. I've gotten shredded by Annihilate so many times in my showdown leagues that I don't even, like, I don't even want to feel bad, to be honest with you. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to feel bad. So I won't. So there you go. So there you go. Um, now my question is, see, I don't, I obviously don't have any actual moves on this Pokemon. So I think we're gonna go ahead and perish song. Want to reveal that? So he can't stand, he can't set up on me. 
He may be bulking up, he may be resting. He might just Rage Fist. There's the Rage Fist, big strong Rage Fist. Probably gonna do about 70. That's about, you know, that's a good amount, so <laughs> we're gonna assume that that's what that is. Um, Perish fall to three. So, wish to protect one. I mean, I could protect here. But if I wish, I kind of get an Owen for free. And then I can just set up. And I'm Terra Steel. Did he ever tell me his Terra? He did not. That's fun. <laughs> I wonder if Salmon's just kind of goes crazy. I wonder if it goes crazy. I mean... I think it does. I think it does. I've only attacked this thing once. So Rage Fist, while it does do a lot, I think I'm just going to wish here, to be honest. Or do I just... Mm. Yeah, I'm going to wish. I'm going to wish. Because if he gets paralyzed, I can protect the next turn. He may predict that and switch. He U-turns there. Okay. So we live that. More Rocky Helmet. That actually works out really well for me. I don't know if he was predicting me to switch. I don't, maybe he thought that that would knock me out. I'm kind of glad it didn't. I don't know. Because he could just go Samurai here and then Cecil's Edge. Fabio! Oh, that's nine tails. 100%. 100%. Now I have a... Wait. Yeah, I have a lot of speed in the screen tail. So legitimately ah, dude I could protect here that's pretty obvious though I'm gonna thunder wave oh yeah speeds so was I not I connect the thunder wave so the aurora veil is up that's annoying we're gonna get big health back my wish came true I'm down to one, so obviously I'm switching. <laughs> um, I do have the Empoleon. It's a pretty safe switch here, I think. Um, and I don't believe he actually has any removal here, so that may be my play, to be honest. Or do I do something crazy? Let's not do something crazy. I don't know if he attacks here, because he may just think, okay, I don't need to attack him because he's going to die to Parish Song, and if he switches, he switches. So he might make a make, he might switch of his own, make a switch of his own. Why do I look so dark? It's it's gotta be the shading. Why is this Empoleon like so dark? Mafia? Is that the? Ooh, this is not good, y'all. This isn't good because he didn't tell me his Terra. <laughs> he didn't. I don't know what his Terra is, and I don't know what this thing's gonna do to me. It's probably gonna try to set up. I would think it's gonna try to set up. And it might have a Lumberry. And if it has a Lumberry, then Yon is useless, and that's not good. Um, okay. Well, since I don't know it's Terra, I don't really know what to do here. I guess I'll just Yawn. But I don't want to be put to sleep, bro. Alright, let's go straight into Whisper. Let's go straight into Whisper. Because it's still alive, I'm just going to use it here. And I can pair song if I don't die by that point. Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance. What if I just tear it myself? <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. I think we're gonna pair song here. I wonder if he has anything to kill me. If he's tear steel, then he obviously will. Uh, I don't really want to switch into anything, right? No, I don't. So let's go ahead and Parish on. He's going to switch. He's seen all four of my moves, by the way, which I didn't think about. Honey Bee is the Annihilate. Now, I kind of just want to wish, if I'm being honest. That lag kind of going crazy, though. I kind of just want to wish, because I don't want to attack this thing. I'm surprised he hasn't brought in Samurai on me at this point. Okay. Let's wish. 
Oh wait, I'm probably gonna die here. I didn't think about that. Unless he gets paralyzed. That would be pretty cool. Man. The Screamtail's pretty good against him, to be honest. I mean, he hasn't used his muck against me, but... So there's the Rage Fist. I'm gonna go ahead and knock me out. Bye, Mr. Screamtail. Thanks for your... help, I guess. Okay. Get hit by that rocky helmet. You are at about 40, I'd say. About 40%. And I don't really trust Pikachu to knock you out. I'm sorry. Oh, we're, we're gonna go off. So I don't think he's, um... He's not likely either. He might be Boots. He might be Boots. So that's something to consider. Of course, I could just go Owen and knock him out with a dual wing beat. He does not have the best answers, best switch ins, I should say. Um, how well. Do oh, wait, I have a wish up, so I think it's a free dragon dance, to be honest with you. It's also a free bulk up, but I don't hit this thing with anything, to be honest. What if I go into Greninja? Do I knock you out? I may knock you out. With a Surf, I should. But you're just going to go into Muck. I don't want you to go into Muck. I'm going to go into Owen. Owen! Help a brother out here. I don't think I'm going to Terra. I don't think I need to. Not yet, at least. And a Rage Fist at 100... Does about half to me. So it would be ideal if he just stays in and rage fists here. But this is a free dragon dance and I'm gonna take it. Again, no intimidate because I didn't want to get vital spirited or uh, defiant. I, I think he would run defiant against the Salamence. It's gonna U turn. So we're gonna get that health back. We're gonna Terra, probably. Because we are already, we're already here, man. So we're we might we might as well just go for it. Oh boy, that muck's gonna be a problem, though. It's gonna be a problem. I can smell it. I can smell that muck being a problem. In fact, I don't even know if I kill that thing with anything on my team. I guess Okie Dogie can knock it out eventually. So he's gonna go uh, whatever it's called, Nine Tails. Now I actually don't need a Terra here. I'll just Iron Head him. So that's an interesting move. I think I'm just gonna click Iron Head. I don't think there's any way you could, you live this. You could be <laughs> you could be focus ashed. You could be focus ashed. Is there a is there a reason to not Terra here? I don't think there is. Well, just in case Tornadus has Focus Blast. Okay, I'm not gonna Terra. I'm just gonna Iron Head and hope you aren't Focus Sashed, which you aren't. I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen a Focus Sash a Lola Tails. So I think, I think it was, it was probably Heavy Duty Boots. Um, that's probably what it was. What am I doing here? Yeah, boom, Nine Tails down. Come on, is that muck? So this thing probably has ice punch. If I had to gamble, if I was a if I was a if I was a betting man, this thing has ice punch. I am at plus two, and a Terra Steel Iron Head almost knocks this thing out if it's max HP. So Terra Iron Head, because I don't think you. Pr oh, he got me to he got me to use the move. Air Force One is the Tornadus. Is this thing going to be Rocky Helmet for some reason? Because that would be annoying. Maybe, oh, you know what? He's probably predicting, he's probably scouting for the Earthquake. Maybe. Unless it is Rocky Helmet. This Iron Head will knock him out if he's not bulky. And even if it, he is bulky, it'll, it has a chance. Boom. He does live it. He's not Rocky Helmet, though. Um, Iron Head's free. I have no reason not to not to click it here. So we're gonna go ahead and click it. We're at plus three now. Uh, Mew is not 
He's Troy Scarfed. We know that. I think he has to bring in Mew at this point. Only thing is, I don't know if he knocks... He... Well... If he's max HP, he'll live a hit, but most like if he's not, he most likely won't. Yeah, here's the Mew. Oh, it's Terra Psychic. It's Terra Psychic. That's good to know. Okay, Iron Head. I'm gonna click it. Do we knock him out? We don't. It's pretty defensive. Citrus. Oh, you know what? This is the set he ran in the first game. Yeah, okay. And there's the Dragon Dance. Now, I am Max B. Jolly, so I don't think that drag... Snow stopped, as if that mattered. I... Well, he's obviously not going to live another one. I don't think he can be max speed. Like, in order, that only did, like, 75. He has to be, like, fizz death for that to, be, for that to do that little. Yeah. So I'm just Iron Heading again. So glad, I, so glad I ran Moxie. Instead of Intimidate. So right now it's speed. Knock this thing out with an Iron Head. Boom. We're at plus four, and at this point we're just snowballing. We are just snowballing. Mance is too good. I, I believe Iron Head is just going to not... I mean, I can Brick Break against the Samurai, because I have it. He's really refusing to bring in that. Samurai. It's interesting. Uh, plus four, Monk. I mean, I'm, there's nothing to calc. I'm just gonna click it. <laughs> there's no, like, even if it doesn't kill, I'm not switching, so. Um, boom. Alright, bye, Monk. And I believe that's gonna be a 5-0 in our favor. I believe it, I believe it is going to be. Salamence so with all six kills. Unless something crazy happens here. We already broke the Samurott Sash, so... That's not gonna save him. He comes an I'm just glad I actually defeated and annihilate. I, it, like, that... That thing is... That has eluded me for so long. Um... I feel like I always get swept by an annihilate. I just don't... It, it doesn't process in my brain, but... This time... Screamtail at least held it at bay. Um... And so that's good. That's awesome. Uh, and that's going to be a victory. So, um, honestly, it was kind of like up in the air whether, because of the way that the other battles have shaken out, um, it wasn't guaranteed that I got in if I lost here. Um, but with this one, we're going to go 3-0 um, and, def and definitely make it. Probably win the pool at that point. I don't think anyone else has gone 3-0. With, uh, with what, plus 9 differential, I think? I don't know. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We're going to be able to move on with that win. We're going to move on to the single elimination 32-man bracket. Um, I don't know who I play. That's all going to get sorted out probably tomorrow or the next day because uh, this is the last day for uh, battles. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next battle.